Hey YouTube, Bryce here, bringing you a deck, a plant deck profile um, update. And I know it's been like a, been a, a couple of months, is it? I I don't know. I kind of lost lost count on the profiling. Um, I know you guys. Okay, let me let me hurry my phrase before I start saying the wrong thing again. <clears throat> Anyways, this is just a. It's probably it's the same kind of deck almost except now it's featuring um the side deck. So I'm actually starting to get more in tune with the side decking. But uh, when we get to the set side deck, I just want you guys' honest opinion and see what you guys think of it. And yeah, so without any further ado, and yes, um, I got the steel board Kyunko's board mat, cardboard mat. Um, it came with the Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World, and it's now available. So, don't worry. You guys will have your fun. Anywho, anywho without any further ado, before I get off, I'm off sidetracking again, let's get on with the main deck. So, first off, we got the monsters. Um, Bird of Roses, for that special summoning tuner monsters. Two Blue Rose Dragons. I'm actually looking for a third blue rose, so if you guys have any, then hit, hit me up. Um, one bot botanical girl. Um, see, I'm still on debating on whether I should put this in my deck. My really put this in my deck, so I'm right now. I'm just tweaking it out, but you know, it's kind of like a very good card to use. So I'm gonna keep it around until it's been like re-tweaking it again. And then we got two botanical lions. Um, she's she's actually one of my favorite, one of my f very good favorites, and a very good card beat stick to use. I mean, most of my cards are about that increasing, decreasing, lockdown, not lockdown. Just I don't know. I'm rambling on. I'm making too many analogies. One dandelion. Two debris dragons for. Somebody in Black Rose drag it out quickly. Two Fallen Angels. Again. Favorite. Gigantic Cephalotus for that 1850 beat stick. Giga Plant for that summoning power. Well, since most of my deck is all about mostly summoning and increasing, decreasing, and ye that yeeky stick. Um, one copy of Hedgeguard. It's a 2100 defense. Monsters, so it comes really handy, and its effect doesn't doesn't hurt either. So big fan of the big fan of the effect. Lone Fire Blossom, Nitria Cosmo Beats, and Nitria Rose Whip. Then we have Spore. Welcome back. And then finally we have two copies of Twilight Rose Knights. And as you guys know, most of my deck mainly is all about like is all been done by alphabetical order. So it's very easy for me to keep track of it. Um, for spells, we got Dark Hole, the usual card that everyone seems to be running. Double Summon, one enemy controller, Heavy Storm. Finally, I got an ultra rare version of the new set of the new Yugi's World Legendary Collection. So yeah, um, two copies of Mark of the Rose. Um, still the banner right now. Three um, Monster Reborn. Two Mystical Space Typhoons for that extra destruction back row. Then finally we got Pot of Avarice for refueling your hand and deck. Next, onward for traps. I'm sorry for making this a little speed up, but you know, I'm making I'm trying to make time. So, <clears throat> anyways, for traps, we got two bottomless trap holes. Again, ultra rare. Love it. Mirror Force, secret, love it. Sakuratsu armor. Um, again, side decking, I don't know, but, yeah. Anyways, for that extra destruction, Solemn Warning, one Starlight Road, one Secret Rare Threatening Roar. Yeah, so far my deck's become more of a shining, it's starting to become a little bit more shiny. So, I'm going to probably make the colors the shiny plant deck if I'm not careful. So, right now, it's the lovely plants. Um, Torrential. And I'm sorry for that. My uncle was coughing. 
<clears throat> Anyways, um, the last but not least, we got two copies of Wall of Thorns. It's the plant version of Mirror Force, and like I said, love it. This is mostly a plant deck, not two Mirror Forces. I'd rather have one Mirror Force and two Wall of Thorns, so big fan of it. And now for extra deck, um, welcome back, Ally Justice Catastor. An old friend of mine from, I don't know, May 14, like a year ago, during regionals. Two Black Rose Dragons. That's the main card of this deck, after all. Um, Iron Chain Dragon. Mistworm. One copy of Barkion. And Beast. Um, Queen of Thorns. Splendid Rose. And Stardust Dragon for Synchros. That's the end of the Synchros. And now let's move on to the Exceeds. We got Gem Knight Pearl. One number 17 Leviathan Dragon. One number 30 Asa Golem. Number 39 Utopia. And finally, Wind Up the Mains. Okay, now here comes um, the side deck. If I can. Yeah. <clears throat> There's the. Okay, now you guys seen the main deck, and there's the extra deck. So now here, I want you guys' biggest opinions opinions about the side decking. See, just tell me what you guys think of it, and then you guys can comment down below what you guys think I should change of it, and see if it's okay. Um, just, you know, change a few cards here and there. Just give me a few, some few pointers. I'm very open. I'm My ears are open for opinions. Um, anyways, for side decking first, we got my botanical lion, the last one. Um, Electric Virus for that Dragon Beat, Dragon Kill. Um, One Gore's Emissary of the Emissary of Darkness. And finally, let's give a warm welcome to the Emissary Token. She is very sexy and very dark. And also, she's, she's a very good fairy type card too. So, yeah, I'm planning on getting, using her a lot more. I'm trying to make a, make a deck based around her, but yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But anyways, there's the token right there for Gores. Um, Puppet Plant. And finally, Titanial Prince of Camellias for monsters. Um, by the way, people, this side decking has five monsters, five spells, and five traps. So just bear with me if you guys think about it. <clears throat> Forbidden Chalice for the spells. My last Mark of the Rose. Last MST, Scapegoat, and let's give a huge round of applause to the Seal of Warrior Kankos itself. Now, why are you guys asking why am I writing this card? I know what you're all thinking. The only thing that comes out of this card, this deck, is the increasing power of 500. That's pretty much it. But, um, <clears throat> you know, oh, sorry, this, my leg is kind of shaking, I'm Having, I'm having problems. So the Seal of War Count Coast itself, to me, I've always wanted to be the Seal of War Count Coast Duelist since I actually have a Chaos Duel disc with me. Um, it's in the back of my drawer a little bit, but yeah. So why not be the perfect Chaos Duelist? <clears throat> well, Chaos or Count Coast Duelist or something. Yiggy. Oh, whatever. Again, analogies. So anyways, that's just for, you know, if I want to play it or not. Um, finally in Traps, we got Fiendish Chain. Oh, what the hell am I doing that for? Um, Polynosis. Solemn Judgment. Solemn Warning. And my last Wall of Thorn. And so, everyone, that's my side deck, extra deck, and my main deck. Now, you guys can <clears throat> rate, subscribe, comment, like, dislike. Tell me what you guys think about this deck, if it needs to be changed, or... Change up a few bits, but if it's about meta decks, like, I'll take a little bit of meta cards, but not a whole bunch. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in, and this is a, a plant deck profile. And, thank yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just be yourselves, and have a a great night. Have a almost a great weekend. <clears throat> so, anyways, here's, make it more easy. Rate, subscribe, like, dislike, comment, message me anything so like i said on the side decking i just want you guys' opinions i want some help on this so if you guys take the time to look um help me out a little bit to learn about have a little bit more of an understanding 
with side decking. So, anyways, this is Bryce. Have a great night, and yeah, see you guys later.